Well, hello, Sylvester. Come in. Hello, Miss Amy. How are you today? Oh, I was pretty good, Sylvester. You still working over at Mr. Taylor's garage? Yes, yes, I'm still over there. Mr. Taylor gave me more to read last week. Well, you must be pretty good to work for, ain't it? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, I like him a whole lot. Everybody just work over there like Mr. Taylor. Oh, sure, sure. Every time that I see him, we talk over the business situation. I give him my ideas, and he give me his. We trade rounds like that, you see. Oh, uh, where's Mr. Amos? He ain't here, is he? No, Amos is out with the taxi cab. You want to see him about something? No, no, they're not special. Uh, Miss Ruby Taylor was over at the garage this morning, and I was talking to him. Well, Amos is out with the taxi cab right now. I explained to Amos that he got to work on it, so we got another taxi cab company across the street, you know. Well, you mean the easy ride taxi cab company? Yeah, this fellow over there, Earl Dixon. He had to open up right across the street. Well, you ain't got nothing to worry about over there, you know, Mr. Amos. Well, folks, I are smarter than he is, but Amos has got to kind of look out, so this fellow will get all the business. I can handle it all for that, so. He was over at the garage this morning, and Ruby Taylor was over there. Oh, yeah. He's kind of crazy about Ruby. He's got Amos jealous. Ruby don't care nothing about him, though. Did Ruby tell you that? Yes, sir, yes, sir. He had an argument with him this morning. What kind of argument they done have? Well, this man Earl Dixon walked up to Ruby and said something about uh, calling up. And Ruby told him right to his face not to call up no more. And then all of a sudden, he called a honey or baby or something like that. Some sweet name, you see. He called a honey or baby? Yes, sir, yes, sir. And when she heard him say that, she started to walk away. And Earl Dixon grabbed her by the arm. And she hauled off and smacked him right in the face. Well... That's something. He smacked Earl Dixon in the face, huh? Yeah, sir, yeah, sir. He gave him a good smack, too. If he don't quit messing around here, I'm going to give him a smack in the face. I'm going to smack him on the nose with my fist. That's what I'm going to do. Don't you like him, Mr. Amos? No, and I don't know nobody that do like him, neither. Well, look here. Here's something, Mr. Amos. Look here. Yeah. Well, how is business, Amos? Hello there, Phil Buffett. Hello, Mr. Amos. How is business, Amos? Oh, business is pretty good. I got a puncher, though. I had to fix the puncher. How much you done took in? I done took in uh, $3.75 a day. Uh, what are you doing over here, Phil Bell? I'm kind of glad to see you, boy. Oh, I just got you over here to say hello, Miss Amy. Tell him about Earl Dixon, Phil Bell. What about Earl Dixon? Well, I was just telling Mr. Amy that uh, Ruby Taylor was over at the garage and Earl Dixon happened to come in. And he called a baby or something like that, and he just smacked him right in the face. Wait a minute, Joe. What did he call him? He said that Earl Dixon called a baby or something, and she got mad and smacked him in the face. He called a baby, huh? I'll smack him in his face if he don't stop calling a baby. That show you that she don't like him, will it? Everybody over the garage was glad to see him get to be able to smack him, too. They, 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 they wanted to beat him up over there. I got mad about it myself. Well, I'm going to find out about that tonight. Well, i got to get on back to work, Miss Amy. If you ain't doing nothing later on, when I get off, I might drop by your room. All right, Phil Velvet, drop by tonight. I think I'm going over to Ruben's house, though, but I don't know what time I'm going. Well, we'll see you later, Phil All right, Miss Amy, so long. I'll see you next, Miss Amy, so long. So long, so long. So long, Phil Velvet. I'd like to see Ruben smack him in the face. <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that kind of worries me. He better not mess with her. I tell him that much. Well, Amos, uh, I was fixing up a chart here. You fixing up what? While you has been out in the taxi cab, I've been working on a chart for the Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company. Shows everything. Mm-hmm. All big companies have one of these things that I was fixing up here now. Only this is a good one. Well, what is it? Let me see it. Here it is right here. Look. You know, I can't help but think about the Ruby smacking him in the face, you know? Well, now, don't think about her. That's just for the business, you know. Well, what are these here lines on there? Boy, this here is a great thing I got here. See what I got up the top there? Short for the Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company. Andrew Brown, President. Amos Jones, System Bookkeeper. Well, what is all this stuff? Well, now, in this line right here, 
we put the money that we ought to take in. In this line over here, we put the money that we do take in. Now, in this one here, we put the expenses. Mm -hmm. Then I reduct what we took in from what we ought to took in. And I take the expenses out of what's left, you see. Well, explain that to me again. All right, I'll explain it to you. Say that we, well, say that you ought to took in $10. When? Anytime. That's what I ought to took in, huh? You ought to took in 10 but you didn't take in but 2 So I reduct. You reduct, huh? Yes. What? 2 from 10 That leaves 7 8 mm -hmm. Now that leaves $8. All right. Say the expenses is $5. I reduct again. Five from eight is three. You can't lose nothing reducting. Well, uh, what you gonna do with that three? Now, that's what I ain't told you about yet. I take that three, and I put it back with the two. That makes five. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe you was wrong. Maybe who is wrong? Shut up, shut up. I ain't gonna do it. Five from two is how many? I mean, eight from five. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You were wrong again. Well, I ain't done nothing. You were the one that's doing it. This here is a good-looking chart, ain't it? When I get myself a ruler, I'm going to straighten up these lines here. Well, what good is this here thing going to do it? Oh, I got to have this thing hanging on the wall here, so I know what's going on ever missing. Suppose I want to find out my financial standards. Instead of going through the books and messing up with all them big figures I got, I can just glance at this thing and tell you, see. Tell what? Tell how much money we got. You know we ain't got none. Well, I want to make sure of it. Well, you are sure of it before we start. Amos, that's what we call system. I got to have some system around here. Suppose I had a look in the book with all them big figures. Boy, I got millions in the book. I got one number in there that runs over three pages. Mm -hmm. What's the use of messing up with that number? And uh, I know that you know it's bookkeeping, but sometimes I don't believe you know what you're doing. All right, all right. Just for that, I'm going to tear up the chart. Now, you can't tell nothing. You don't know how much we got. Well, let somebody try to borrow a few dollars. They'll find out how much we got. I'll 